hi guys today i will show you how to fix the uh, lf will be replaced by crr lf error this happens when people are working in multiple operating system let's say uh, windows and linux so uh, the the way windows and linux treats the line breaks is different in linux it treats it as a lf and in windows it treats it as a, a crlf so whenever you press and enter uh, in windows it will be treated as crlf and in linux it's lf so this error comes when uh, you are trying to uh, add your uh, files to a git repository in windows the git automatically replaces your line breaks into lf so that it's treated as an lf uh, in the repository so let's see how it looks this is how we see this warning uh, we can get rid of this warning uh, in, by two methods one is uh, the person who is working in his windows environment he can either uh, write this command git config global core dot auto crlf true so this will actually convert this uh, line breaks for you and if you're in linux uh, or mac you can put it into input so that if something is committed by a windows user it will be converted into lf uh, one way is this but this command then every person has to write on his machine so that he does not get this warning uh, another way is we can create a git attributes file so that uh, the no person in your uh, code base gets this warning ever so we will do it by creating a um, file dot git attributes and within this file we will have to write any file uh, which should be treated as a text and we will uh, make it uh, into auto so that any text file it actually uh, is able to uh, uh, detect the line breaks and convert it accordingly uh, some files if you don't want them to to be treated as a text like let's say if you have a uh, images in your repository so you need to make sure that they are excluded from this rule and you can do it by typing dot uh, aspect dot jpg or dot png so these type of uh, um, uh, things should be treated as binary objects so that git is not a uh, uh, git does not need to worry about these line breaks and stuff so these should be treated as binary once you're done with this change we need to commit this file so let's go ahead and commit all our files once our files are committed let's try to let me just stay them let's commit them once we have committed these changes uh, we need to just run one more time uh, uh, index command so that uh, if any files which were ignored by this uh, uh, rule before we added this git attributes uh, uh, they should also uh, be converted into or uh, lf uh, after uh, we re-index our data in our uh, current working directory so we will do it by running this command uh, we will do git checkout index and we will force it for all the files once this is done so what this command will do is uh, it will actually pull the all the files from the index file from our git repository and it will update our working directory with all uh, all the issues sorted for this uh, uh, crlf and lf so that we don't get this warning ever again so next time when we create some file which has these line uh, line breaks let's say um, test.html So once we add this file, we will not receive any kind of uh, this uh, LF will be replaced by CRLF warning because uh, of our, uh, because of this git attributes file. So it automatically converts the line breaks for us. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.